Welcome to the real estate vocabulary set number three. This vocabulary set will have 50 real estate terms with definitions that would be helpful. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video. Now let's begin. Covenant. In real estate, a covenant is a legally binding promise between two parties, typically the seller and the buyer, that is included in a deed or other legal document. Covenants can impose certain restrictions or obligations on the property, such as limitations on its use, maintenance requirements, or provisions for payment of fees or assessments. Covenants can also be used to protect the value or character of a neighborhood or community, such as by requiring adherence to certain architectural or landscaping standards. Covenants, Conditions, and Restrictions, CC and R's. Covenants, Conditions, and Restrictions, CC and R's, are rules and regulations that are typically attached to a property deed by a developer or a homeowner's association, HOA, to maintain a certain standard of living within a community. These restrictions may include requirements for maintenance, limitations on property use, and guidelines for architectural design, among others. Credit Bureau. A credit bureau is an agency that collects and maintains records of individuals' credit histories and provides credit reports to lenders, landlords, and other authorized parties. The reports include information about an individual's credit accounts, payment history, and credit score, which is used to assess credit worthiness and determine eligibility for loans, credit cards, and other forms of credit. Credit File a credit file is a detailed record of a person's credit history and current credit situation. It includes information such as credit accounts, payment history, outstanding debts, and any other relevant financial information used to determine credit worthiness. Credit files are used by lenders and financial institutions to evaluate loan applications and determine interest rates and credit limits. Credit insurance. Credit insurance is a type of insurance policy that is designed to pay off the borrower's outstanding debt in the event of a certain predetermined occurrence, such as death, disability, or job loss. This insurance is often used to protect against default on loans or credit lines and can be offered by the lender or purchased independently by the borrower. Credit Limit a credit limit refers to the maximum amount of credit that a lender is willing to extend to a borrower. It represents the upper bound of how much money the borrower can borrow and is usually based on the borrower's credit worthiness and income. Once the borrower reaches the credit limit, they may no longer be able to borrow until they have paid down some of their outstanding balance. Credit Report a credit report is a detailed summary of an individual's credit history that includes information about credit accounts, such as credit cards, loans, and mortgages, as well as payment history and outstanding balances. Credit reports are often used by lenders and other creditors to assess a borrower's credit worthiness and ability to pay back debt. Credit score. A credit score is a numerical representation of a borrower's credit worthiness. It is based on an analysis of the borrower's credit history, including factors such as payment history, outstanding debts, length of credit history, and types of credit used. A higher credit score generally indicates that a borrower is more likely to be approved for credit and may qualify for better interest rates and loan terms. Creditor a creditor is an individual or organization that lends money or extends credit to another person or entity. The creditor expects repayment of the loan with interest and may also have the right to collect collateral or take legal action to recover funds in the event of default. Cul-de-sac A cul-de-sac is a dead-end street with a circular turnaround area at the end, allowing vehicles to turn around easily without backing up. Cul-de-sacs are often used in residential areas to limit through traffic and provide a safer environment for pedestrians and children. DBA DBA stands for Doing Business As, which is a legal term used to refer to a business that operates under a different name than its legal name. This is commonly used by sole proprietors and partnerships who wish to operate their business under a more memorable or catchy name. Debenture in real estate, a debenture refers to a type of bond that is not secured by specific collateral. Instead, the issuer's credit worthiness and general reputation are the primary factors that investors consider when purchasing debentures. In some cases, debentures may be convertible into equity shares at a later date, providing additional flexibility for investors. Debt Service 
debt service refers to the periodic payments made by a borrower to repay the principal and interest on a debt over a set period of time. In real estate, it typically refers to the amount of money required to service a mortgage loan, including both the principal and interest payments. Debt Service Ratio The debt service ratio is a financial metric used to evaluate a borrower's ability to repay their debts. It measures the ratio of a borrower's monthly debt payments to their monthly income. A lower debt service ratio is generally considered more favorable, indicating that the borrower has more income available to meet their debt obligations. Deceptive Trade Practices Act The Deceptive Trade Practices Act, DTPA, is a law that protects consumers from false or misleading advertising, marketing, or other business practices. It provides legal remedies to consumers who have been harmed by such practices, including the right to sue for damages and to seek injunctive relief. The DTPA applies to a wide range of industries, including real estate, and is enforced by the Attorney General's office in each state. Deduction In real estate, a deduction refers to a reduction in the amount of taxable income. Deductions can be made for expenses related to owning or operating a property, such as mortgage interest, property taxes, and repairs. Deductions can help lower a property owner's tax bill and increase their net income. Deed A deed is a legal document that transfers ownership of real property from one person or entity to another. It contains a description of the property being transferred and any relevant terms and conditions of the transfer. Deed in lieu of foreclosure Deed in lieu of foreclosure is a legal process in which a borrower transfers the title of their property to the lender, typically a bank, in exchange for the forgiveness of the outstanding mortgage debt. This process is often used as an alternative to foreclosure and can help borrowers avoid the negative impact on their credit score that foreclosure can have. Deed of Trust A deed of trust is a legal document that is used in many states instead of a mortgage. It allows a borrower to transfer legal title to a trustee until a loan is paid off, while still allowing the borrower to possess and use the property as their own. If the borrower defaults on the loan, the trustee can initiate foreclosure proceedings on behalf of the lender. Deed Restrictions Deed restrictions, also known as restrictive covenants, are limitations imposed on the use of real property that are included in the deed to the property. These restrictions may include limitations on the type of structures that can be built, the materials that can be used, and the activities that can be conducted on the property. Default In real estate, default refers to a borrower's failure to fulfill their obligations under the terms of a loan or mortgage agreement, such as making regular payments or meeting other contractual requirements. A default can lead to consequences such as late fees, legal action by the lender, or even foreclosure of the property. Defeasance Defeasance is a clause in mortgage that allows the borrower to regain title to the property once the debt has been fully paid. Essentially, it extinguishes the mortgage and releases the property from the lender's lien. Defeasance can be used as an alternative to prepayment penalties when a borrower wants to pay off a mortgage early. Delivery In real estate, delivery refers to the transfer of property ownership from one party to another. This can be done through physical delivery of the deed or through symbolic delivery, which can include the exchange of keys or other items that represent ownership. Delivery is a critical part of any real estate transaction and is necessary to finalize the transfer of ownership. Depreciation In real estate, depreciation refers to the decrease in value of a property over time due to age, wear and tear, and other factors. It is a non-cash expense that can be used to reduce taxable income for property owners and investors. Depreciation is typically calculated using a formula that takes into account the property's cost, useful life, and salvage value. Descent In real estate, descent refers to the transfer of property ownership from a deceased person to their legal heirs. This type of transfer occurs when the deceased person did not leave a will or if the will is invalid. The legal heirs are determined by state law and can include surviving spouses, children, parents, or siblings. Devise In real estate, the term devise refers to the transfer of real property under a will or trust. It specifically refers to property that is passed down from a decedent to their heirs or beneficiaries. Disclosure 
Disclosure in real estate refers to the act of revealing or making known certain information to interested parties about a property or a transaction. It is a legal requirement that certain information be disclosed, such as the presence of lead-based paint, known defects, or previous flood or fire damage. Discount points or points. Discount points, also referred to as points, are fees paid to a lender at closing in exchange for a reduced interest rate on a mortgage loan. Each point typically costs 1% of the total mortgage loan amount and can lower the interest rate by a certain percentage, usually 0.25% or 0.5%. Discount rate. In real estate, the discount rate refers to the interest rate used to calculate the present value of future cash flows. This rate is used to determine the current value of an investment property by factoring in the time value of money and the risk associated with the investment. The discount rate can vary depending on factors such as the property's location, the investor's risk tolerance, and prevailing market conditions. Dispossess Dispossess is a legal process whereby a landlord seeks to evict a tenant from the rented property. The dispossess process usually involves a court hearing and can only be carried out under specific circumstances, such as non-payment of rent or lease violations. Dominant Tenement In real estate, a dominant tenement refers to a property or estate that has the right to use an easement or other access over another property, known as a servient tenement. The dominant tenement has a legal right to access the servient tenement for specific purposes, such as a right-of-way to access a public road or an easement for utilities. Down payment. A down payment is the initial payment made by a buyer for a property or asset, usually a percentage of the total price. It is typically paid at the time of closing and is used to reduce the amount of the mortgage loan needed to finance the purchase. Dual agency. Dual agency is a situation in real estate where the same brokerage or agent represents both the buyer and seller in a transaction. In a dual agency scenario, the agent owns fiduciary duties to both parties and must ensure that there are no conflicts of interest. Due on sale. Due on sale refers to a clause in a mortgage or trust deed that requires the borrower to pay the full balance of the loan if the property is sold or transferred to another party. The purpose of the clause is to protect the lender's interest in the property and ensure that the borrower fulfills their obligation to repay the loan. Duress Duress refers to the use of force or coercion to induce someone to act against their will. In real estate, duress may be used as a legal defense to a contract if it can be shown that one party was forced or coerced into signing the agreement. Earnest Money Earnest money is a deposit made by a buyer to show their good faith and commitment to completing a real estate transaction. This deposit is typically made at the time of the purchase agreement and is held in escrow until the closing of the transaction. The earnest money can be applied toward the down payment or closing costs of the property. Earnest Money Contract, EMC an earnest money contract, EMC, is a legal document used in real estate transactions that outlines the terms and conditions of a sale, including the agreed-upon purchase price and the amount of earnest money being deposited. The EMC is typically accompanied by a purchase agreement and shows the buyer's commitment to purchase the property. If the sale goes through, the earnest money is applied to the purchase price, but if the sale falls through, the earnest money may be forfeited to the seller. Easement an easement is a right to use a portion of another person's land for a specific purpose. The easement holder does not own the land, but has the legal right to use it as specified in the easement agreement. Easement by prescription. An easement by prescription is a legal right to use someone else's property for a specific purpose, acquired through continued use without the owner's permission for a certain period of time. The user must demonstrate open, notorious, continuous, and uninterrupted use of the property typically for a period of at least 10 years. Economic obsolescence. Economic obsolescence refers to a reduction in the value of a property caused by external factors, such as changes in the surrounding area or the local economy, rather than physical deterioration of the property itself. This can include factors such as new developments that negatively impact the desirability of the property, changes in zoning regulations, or a decrease in demand for the property due to economic factors. Effective interest rate. The effective interest rate is the true cost of borrowing money 
taking into account all the factors that affect the interest rate, such as compounding, fees, and charges. It is often used to compare different loan options and to determine the actual cost of a loan over time. Deflection of time. Deflection of time refers to the expiration of a legal right or interest, such as the end of a lease or the termination of an option. Once the period of time specified in the agreement has passed, the right or interest comes to an end automatically. Egress. In real estate, egress refers to the right or means of exiting a property or land, usually by way of a road or path. Egress can be an important factor to consider when evaluating the value and potential uses of a property. Implements. Implements are crops that are considered personal property and can be harvested by a tenant farmer or the owner of the land even after the lease or ownership of the land has ended. The right to implements is often included in a lease agreement or may be granted by state law. Eminent domain. Eminent domain is the power of the government to take private property for public use, with just compensation paid to the property owner. This power is derived from the Fifth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution and is used to build public infrastructure such as roads, schools, and parks. Enclave Community An enclave community refers to a neighborhood or development that is physically surrounded by another city or neighborhood but is not administratively a part of it. These communities are often distinct from their surrounding areas in terms of their architecture, lifestyle, and culture, and may be governed by their own homeowner association, HOA, or municipal authority. Examples of enclave communities include gated communities and planned communities. Encroachment An encroachment is an unauthorized intrusion of a property owner's real estate onto another person's property. This can include anything from a fence or a building to overhanging branches or roots from a neighboring tree. Encroachments can lead to boundary disputes and may require legal action to resolve. Encumbrance An encumbrance is a legal claim or liability against a property that can affect its transfer or use. Encumbrances can include mortgages, liens, easements, and other types of restrictions or obligations that limit the property owner's rights or impose financial obligations. Endorsement in real estate, an endorsement is a written amendment or attachment to a document that modifies or adds to its provisions. Endorsements can be used to add or remove terms and conditions, to clarify the meaning of certain provisions, or to correct errors or omissions in the original document. Endorsements are commonly used in real estate to modify purchase agreements, lease agreements, and title insurance policies. Equal Credit Opportunity Act the Equal Credit Opportunity Act, ECOA, is a federal law that prohibits discrimination in lending based on race, color, religion, national origin, sex, marital status, age, or receipt of public assistance. The law applies to all types of credit, including mortgages, car loans, credit cards, and personal loans. Lenders must provide applicants with a written notice of their rights under the ECOA and must consider all relevant factors when evaluating credit worthiness. Nice work. You just studied 50 terms. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe for more practice tests.